Hey guys, what's up? It's Coop Dizzle here, and welcome to another episode of the Noob to Pro series. Glad you guys could join me today. I hope y'all are doing good, having a good day. And I've been doing a little bit of work in between episodes getting ready for today. Today, we are talking about armor and weapons, and I'm going to give you guys all the details on, or at least the basic details, the things you really need to know at the start of the game. Anyway, check it out, guys. Da -da -da, we have a house. So if you've been following the series so far, you know that we just kind of found a cave in the, not a cave, we kind of dug out a little hidey hole in the first episode, went mining in the second episode, and I built a house in between episodes. And uh, the design is inspired by one of the Corrales starter houses. So I'll try to put a link to his channel in the description. Uh, he is a master builder and even he can even make really simple starter houses look just beautiful. So um, I took some of his ideas and made something. And yeah, that's how it turned out. We'll see the inside of that in a second. And stick around for the end of the episode because there will be a surprise waiting in there. In fact, are they not there? Oh, they, dang, they despawned. Anyway, <laughs> that's the arena, guys because we're doing armor and weapons and I thought what better way to test out armor and weapons than to have an arena. So anyway, let's get this thing going. Uh, let's hop into our new house here. I just built a really uh, small, simple house. Here's the bedroom. It's looking snazzy. There's our bed and um, a little work area, kitchen area. All of these are furnaces, by the way. So if you're new to Minecraft, you're probably going to have a lot of cobblestone and you can easily put uh, furnaces as your floor. Not only is it a cool texture, especially when used with another material and a checker, but uh, it does double duty because you can use it as a furnace. Um, also hid some chests away. There's some of the stuff we got from the previous episodes. Uh, but enough of that, guys. Enough of that. We have got work to do. So, here is the stuff you're going to make today. Here's all the different types of armor that you can get in the game. And here are the two basic types of weapons. Now there are other things in the game that can be weaponized, such as gravel, sand, anvils, lava. We're not getting into any of that, just the real simple basic stuff. Um, we have, let's, we're going to talk about armor first, okay? So there are four different types of armor that you can make and wear. The first one is your helmet. Huh, that says cap. These are helmet. Never noticed that before. Second one is your, t not tune. I'm going to use gold from now on, chest plate. Everyone's going to call it by these, not by what these are called. Um, so yeah, we got our helmet, we got our chest plate, we have our leggings, and we have our boots. And you can make them out of leather. These are, this is leather armor, gold armor. Skip this middle one. We have iron armor and diamond armor. Now the reason I skipped this, this is chain mail, and it actually cannot be crafted. You can find this uh, in dungeons and in spawners and things like that, and more likely you will um, get this as a rare drop from skeletons and zombies who happen to be wearing them. So anyway, I just wanted to show chain mail armor exists, but it's sort of something you find or stumble on. Um, and also, this is put in order of um, not material because gold is obviously more rare than iron is if you have done any mining yet you'll know that but um, it's put in order of durability and protection so same thing with the swords down here we have our wood sword you'll notice it does four attack damage gold sword also does four attack damage so you would think this would be better, but really it's only better in that it has slightly more durability. A cobblestone sword has more attack damage. We're going to get into more of that stuff later. So the point is it's listed by usefulness. Okay, we'll put it that way. So that's what you're going to make. Here's what you're going to need. Stuff you'll need to make it. You're going to need 20 to make a full set of armor. You're going to need 24 of any of these materials, leather, gold, iron, or diamond to make a sword. Now we did that in our first episode, but in case you didn't see that, or if somehow you don't know, you'll need a stick and then two of these items. 
Um, that should be something that you learn when you start the game or right before you start the game. But just in case you didn't know, there are five different swords that you can make, so there you go. We're also going to learn how to craft arrows and a bow as well. And this is what you'll need for the arrows, feather, stick, flint. You get flint from mining out gravel blocks, and uh, we showed what gravel blocks look like in the last episode. And then sticks are real easy to come by, obviously. String, you usually get from killing spiders. So kill all the spiders. Try and get string as fast as you can, guys. So let's jump straight into it, guys. Let's start with armor, and we're going to start with leather. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and just grab all this stuff. And we're going to start by making, basically I'm going to show you the crafting recipes with leather and uh, and we're gonna go from there so we're gonna start in the order of importance okay because there are four types of armor that you saw and they have different there's a diff priorities for each one okay because different um, types provide a different amount of protection so if you are limited in resources for example let's say you only had eight leather and you're like well what should which one should I make I have only eight I'm not 24 you want to make the chest plate first because the chest plate offers the most protection. So that is the crafting recipe right there. You fill up the grid except for this and just pretend like this is your neck hole, okay, so to speak. So there you go. Boom, we got a leather tunic or chest plate. The second most important piece of armor that you can get is the leggings and apparently if you make it out of leather it's called pants we're not going to worry about that um, but pants provide the second most amount of protection okay so the next one is going to be your helmet and it kind of looks like a helmet cool three on top and then uh, these two sides in the middle row leave everything else blank super easy it's exactly the way that the the graphic looks and then for boots you just uh, put them down here like this and actually you don't have to do it like that you could put them up here as well see but the point is is that you need four items and then you stack them on top of each other like this is that really a thunderstorm right before the episode I cleared the weather and it does that it's been raining non-stop on this map but anyway okay so Let's jump into our inventory screen now, and you'll notice this area over here. If you didn't know what that was before, this is where you put your armor. So like this is your backpack, this is your hotbar down here, here's your crafting grid with the output shown here, and this is where your armor goes. So this is where you equip all that stuff. So let's just shift click this stuff into our, well, onto our body, I guess, and check it out. I'm all decked out in leather armor. Now, let me get to where it's a little bit brighter. Look on top of my hearts, right? You'll see, I think it's 10 hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, yep. Yeah. On top of each one of those hearts looks like a chest plate, kind of. Okay, do you see it? It's kind of grayish or silverish looking. And you'll notice that there are three and a half of those that are filled and then the rest of them are dark. This is basically your armor bar, so to speak, and it shows you how much protection you're getting from your armor. In this case, I'm getting three and a half chest plates worth of protection, okay, out of ten. Well, I actually didn't know this until I was doing a little research for this episode, but each one of those represents 8% damage reduction. So, Right now, I have, let's see, uh, 3 times 8 is 24, plus 4 is 28. So I have 28% damage reduction with this armor. So, sweet. Except, it's not really, let me do that over here. It's not really that sweet, guys. 28% um, really won't get you that much, okay? The other thing, too, I can't see this until I've taken damage, but... Um, just like the tools, we were showing that off in the mining episode, you, um, in fact, let me just put all this up, because you guys, you don't need to see the crafting recipes again, right? I'm just going to grab the next set of uh, armor here. But anyway, just like tools, um, we saw that a 
cobblestone pickaxe only had, I think it was 131 blocks it could break before it broke. Well, each class of armor, or each, yeah, let's say gold is a class of armor, okay? Um, each of those has a durability, and when you take damage, it reduces the durability of your armor. So leather armor will wear out really fast. Um, gold armor also wears out pretty fast, but check it out. I have more protection now. One, two, three, four, five and a half, like five and a half. So I'm not the best at math, but five and a half times eight, and that gives you the percentage of damage reduction. And then the other thing is, is it looks pretty sweet. So it will break really quick though. So that's, it's pretty much a waste of gold to make uh, gold armor, unless you just want to pimp it out and show everyone how rich you are. Uh, but don't go into any serious combat situations with gold armor, okay? Ooh, speaking of combat, I heard some bad guys. That's the sound of bones, do you hear that? So anyway, let's, uh... Oh, right. Well, let's just dump chainmail in now. So I think we had three and a half with leather, we had five and a half with gold. Let's see what we get with chainmail and boots, leggings, chest plate, helmet. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is just a little bit better than gold. And um, six times eight, I can do that one. That's 48% damage reduction. So that's not bad. You know, I'm tired of that thunder. So anyway, yeah, so 48% still not too bad, and the bonus is this looks totally rad. And that's why people like chainmail. It's not because it's the best armor around, it's just because it looks cool. And uh, even I wear chain uh, chainmail, I should say, for my videos, at least the helmet. I don't really worry about the rest of it, but I do wear a chainmail helmet when I can, uh, just so I can walk around protected and click into uh, F5 mode and you guys can see my face real easy whereas most helmets obscure your face and stuff. So um, anyway, that's something. Let's pop in our iron armor real quick. A lot of people think that um, iron and chest plate, I'm sorry, iron and chain mail, that they do the same amount of protection. So let's test that out. No way. Iron definitely does way more protection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Seven and a half, now we're getting up there. That's what I'm talking about. So seven and a half times eight, you can do the math on that. And iron armor, to be honest, is the most common type because there's a big jump. Seven and a half compared to six is a, is a pretty big jump. That's a 12% jump in protection. And iron is fairly common to mine. So, um, and the durability is pretty decent. So here we go, uh, diamond, let's get it. This is the business right here, okay? This is how, this is, uh, <laughs> well, what I'm trying, what am I trying to say here? My son, he has a Minecraft t-shirt and it has Steve uh, jumping in the air with a sword, uh, wearing iron armor with diamonds in the air. And it says like a boss, okay? You're a boss. Well, you're getting close, all right? You're like a small time boss when you wear diamond armor. We'll put it that way and bam, look at that full protection right there. Now that's a little bit misleading. It's not 100% protection because remember, each one of those chest plates is worth 8%. There are 10 of those chest plates. That gets you up to 80% damage reduction, which is still pretty sweet. Okay, still pretty sweet. We're gonna go ahead and keep this diamond armor on for the minute. And actually, um, yeah, I got my leather armor. Okay, so real quick, let's also talk about the different swords that you can make. Um, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and take these. I didn't give myself enough sticks. Well, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and craft up, um, let's see, like two different swords. So let's do, let's do a stone sword. That'll be the first one. There we go. And I'm doing this because I want two different types of swords to show off in the, um, in the arena later. So we're basically gonna battle a whole bunch of mobs in the arena later. So let's grab me another stick. 
Should have got myself another stick overall, but yeah, no biggie. All right, there we go. Diamond sword plus seven attack damage. Look at that. And um, actually, yeah. So here we go. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Before I talk about weapons, there's one more thing about damage. So according to the Minecraft wiki, uh, by the way, that's www.minecraftwiki.com net I believe mm hmm that's the place to get all the info guys um, anyway so there are different types of, of damages in the game and some of them are reduced by armor and some of them are not reduced by armor itself you can enchant your armor to get um, that kind of damage reduction but um, but it's not like reduced just by the armor itself so anyway, real quick, I'm going to look at my screen here, and uh, or actually at my phone. So we have uh, direct attacks from mobs, in other words, monsters, and players. That gets reduced by armor, getting hit with an arrow, getting hit with a fireball from a ghast or blaze, uh, an ender acid ball, or a fire charge. Touching fire, lava, or cactus, explosions, getting struck by lightning, getting hit with a falling anvil, and getting hit by chicken eggs. So all of those things do damage to you, and, uh, and they'll get reduced by your armor, which is cool. They also, all of those things damage the armor as well, so that's something to keep in mind. There are other types of damage that are not reduced by armor, and therefore they don't hurt the armor either. So, for example, whenever you are lit on fire, you actually take additional fire damage after the fact because you're on fire for a while. That damage does not affect your armor. Um, it also is not uh, prevented by armor. Like, you don't get that damage reduction. So, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Suffocating inside of a block. Drowning in water. Starvation. Falling into the void. Poisoning. Um, instant damage from, for example, Potion of Harming, um, the Slash Kill command, Wither Potion effects, and also Fall damage, for including if you use Ender Pearls when you get that far in the game, um, and getting hit by Snowballs. But anyway, so those things, um, those things are not reduced, the damage is not reduced by armor and therefore it also does not hurt the armor. So anyway, that's all you need to know about what armor protects you from, what it doesn't protect you from, and what affects your armor. So, on to the weapons themselves. So, we'll just have a quick look in this chest. Um, all of these weapons, including the bow as well, have a durability on them and they also do a certain amount of attack damage. So, for example, wooden sword plus four, Golden Sword, also plus four. Slightly more durable, but basically a piece of junk. Um, stone Sword, a stone sword which requires two pieces of cobblestone does more attack damage than one made with two gold ingots. Okay, are you getting the message that gold is worthless for armor and weapons? It has other uses. Don't waste it on that. We've got the Iron Sword, plus six, and eh, not bad, and a Diamond Sword, plus seven. And these are also more durable, so like... The wooden sword is less durable than this, diamond sword is more durable than iron, etc. Cool. Bows. There's only one type of bow that you can make, and um, only one type of arrow you can make. You can enchant bows, but there's not like diamond bows or anything like that, okay? So let's get into making this stuff. So first, you're going to need a bow, which takes three sticks. Bows are super cheap. I love it three sticks and three pieces of string. You'll notice it looks like a bow. Pretty cool, right? I'm kind of curious. I wonder if we could reverse this re recipe. Yep, still makes a bow. Very cool, very cool. So let's go ahead and take our bow right there. Um, let me see. Oh, oak wood planks. Perfect. I was just saying I needed more sticks. And let's make some arrows. For arrows, you're gonna need a stick in the, uh, well, in the middle row, we'll put it that way, 
flint in the top row on top of the stick, and a feather at the bottom. So you have the arrowhead, the stick, and then the feather on the end. And each one of those gives you four arrows, so that's pretty sweet. You can also get bows from skeletons. As a rare drop, sometimes they'll drop their bow. And uh, also a rare drop, sometimes they'll drop their arrows. That's actually more common than uh, them dropping their bow. So, there you go, guys. Okay, guys, so it turns out that a bow does pretty good. Um, it does, usually if it's fully charged, it does four and a half hearts of damage and rarely can do five hearts of damage, which is pretty cool. The way that you use a bow is by holding down the right click button and you'll notice that it pulls back and you can just shoot it like that no problem but notice even that last one like it just kind of drooped down right or you can hold it all the way back until it's fully charged also worth noting you move slower while you're drawing a bow back so notice that's that's normal right and by the way if you're just doing target practice you can actually pick your arrow back up um, but if a mob misses a target, for example, like if they shoot at you and you see that there's an arrow in the ground like that, you won't be able to pick up their arrows. But your arrows, if you miss a target, you can actually pick them back up. So that's cool. Um, anyway, guys, so now you pretty much know everything that you need to know about uh, the four different types of armor, how to craft them. Um, how much protection each one gives you. Um, honestly, don't do anything other than um, iron armor or diamond armor. And if you do leather and gold, it's like for some kind of special occasion. You can actually dye leather armor as well. So if you make some dyes, you can actually dye these different colors. And people will do that just, just for fun. Same thing with gold. People only wear gold armor just for the fun of it. But if you're just getting started, make some iron armor and um, bide your time until you can get some diamond armor. And there are ways, I will say this too, before we go into the arena, there are ways to um, make your armor better through what's called enchantments. And you're welcome to go find another video about enchantments. Um, or... If mine is up, you're welcome to watch mine as well, but uh, at the time of this video, I do not have one yet. So guys, I wanna show you the difference between, the difference it can make when you have like good armor and bad armor. And uh, I'm actually gonna go, well, yeah, let's go ahead and do the leather armor. And I better go put the rest of this armor in a chest because I'm 100% sure that I'm gonna die. So. Give me just a second, I'm gonna spawn in some mobs and I'll meet you back at the arena. All right guys, it's time to enter the battle dome. One man enters with a bunch of monsters. Really, it's not too much actually. I tried to, basically I did two witches, two skeletons, four zombies, and I tried to do two spiders, but they keep crawling out. Now right now, I'm just wearing leather armor with a stone sword. So I have three and a half uh, times 8%. That's how much protection I have, damage reduction, and we're going to see if I can survive. And these guys definitely have an advantage on me because they have skeletons, and the skeletons were bowing at me as soon as I changed to survival mode. So, whew, whew. by the way, guys, when you're in combat, holding right click blocks, and it, I think it's like 50% damage reduction as well. Left, uh, left click. Yeah, oh, oh, they're, they're going. Huh. Oh, I'm not even going to make it in the arena. Oh, I'm getting hit with potions. Oh, crap. Crap, they're burning in the sun. Oh, well, to be honest, <laughs> that's better than I expected to do. And it ended up being a bow shot by a skeleton. I think I took down three zombies, and that was while they were burning as well. I didn't even get to the two skeletons, the two witches, or the two spiders. So let's respawn, and of course I haven't slept in my new base, so I'm going to run over to the base, or house I should say, 
run over to the house and uh, oh I'm gonna take it slow so I don't waste my hunger uh, but yeah anyway guys I'm gonna get set up I will see you back in just a moment for round two will I have vengeance wait and see alright guys I'm back and I am ready to try to exact my revenge on the arena now I am fully decked out I have full 80 percent damage reduction plus seven attack damage and let's just go let's go Whew. come on all right number one down oh. come on no come on get that zombie come on all right so far so good almost got the last zombie you can see this attack damage is going in oh crap no no it's over oh well, it was never a fair fight in the first place, was it, guys? Uh, but I tried. I, I did my best, okay? And I got one of the skeletons. I got one of the spiders. I got all four of the zombies, which is a much better performance than earlier when I just got the zombies, and I never even made it in the arena, if you remember that. And this is in a really extreme situation as well, so hopefully you understand that too. Um, between the witch, two witches throwing potions at me um, and two skeletons shooting at me that's not too uncommon but in combination with being mauled by four zombies and two spiders that is an extreme situation that is very unlikely to happen in the game um, it is common to have to go up against four zombies at once for example but uh, yeah and also, I didn't use creepers just because I didn't want to have to rebuild the arena after the inevitable explosion. So hopefully you guys are cool with that. Well guys, hey, I hope that you found this episode um, useful and entertaining. Um, if you did enjoy it, please do leave a like for the video. I'd really appreciate it. It makes my day when you guys do that and motivates me to keep making the videos. And uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you found it helpful if you're new to Minecraft. And don't worry, we're going to get to the really pro stuff in later episodes. How to really make your gear uh, overpowered and your weapons overpowered. We'll get to that stuff, I promise. And yeah, so please do like the video if you enjoyed it or if you found it helpful. If you are a veteran Minecraft player, please recommend these videos to your friends. And I really do try to put a lot of effort and research and stuff into them to make them the best that I can. And uh, yeah, so anyway, please do throw the video a like and um, subscribe if you want to catch future tutorials or uh, the other two series that I have going on right now. That would be StreamCraft Vanilla uh, multiplayer server there and also my Let's Build series. So anyway, guys, again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I had fun and until next time, may be happy, may be well and take care. We'll see you later.